Hey guys, so as I film this, uh, my Bengals are coming off their bye week and are preparing for their Monday night showdown against the New York Giants. And uh, in that time span, I've been to more Bengal shows, uh, more Bengal line shows, and more Beyond the Stripe shows. So I have gotten more autographs, and I will show you those autographs in this video. So this is Bengal Grass 2016 Part 2. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Um, I first, uh, the first game after their Week 4 matchup, I went to uh, Bengals line. And the guest was uh, Michael Johnson and Ken Anderson. Now, Michael Johnson is a big guy on the defensive line, and Ken Anderson is a former Bengals quarterback who helped lead the Bengals to the Super Bowl. So, uh, of course, I went and I got Michael Johnson to uh, sign my banner. You can see that picture right there. And he also signed my football. And then Ken Anderson, um, he also signed my banner. And I happen to have a Ken Anderson bobblehead, so I brought that with me too. And he was kind enough to uh, sign the bobblehead on the base. You can see his black signature right there. Really happy, uh, uh, really happy how that turned out. And it looks really good. So uh, I was really excited to see uh, Ken Anderson get to sign some stuff. And it was the first time I ever got to meet him. And then uh, after that, uh, the next day we went to Be on the Stripes, where the guest was Pat Sims, and he signed my uh, banner. And he also uh, signed a picture for me. Um, let me get it out of this big pile of things I've gotten. So yeah, here is the Pat Sims picture right there. You can see his autograph uh, right there above his name on the orange. Really nice guy, happy to meet him and glad to get his autograph on that picture. And then uh, I also, uh, they also had another guest that was Ken Anderson again. He was in town promoting a, a fundraiser he was doing. So they had him on and uh, since he signed my banner and my bobblehead the previous day at Bengals Line, uh, I just had him sign a picture for me. And it is right here. Uh, it's black and white. You can see uh, the signature by his head. Um, looks really good. Happy to have this one too. Um, yeah, so I was stoked to get three Ken Anderson autographs. Who is like a Bengals legend here in Cincinnati. I was happy to get three of his autographs in a matter of two days. So that's really cool. Um, following that, uh, the guest was, I have a list on my computer, uh, Carlos Dansby and uh, Tyler Croft the next week at Bengals Line. And Dansby, he just signed my football because I had met him earlier at Beyond the Stripes. So uh, there's a picture of his autograph on my football. And then Tyler Croft, um, he just signed my banner because he had already signed my football at training camp. So yeah, a nice, a nice uh, couple autographs from Dansby and Croft. And then the following day, uh, we went back to Beyond the Stripes, where the guest was uh, Bengals offensive lineman Andrew Whitworth. And uh, he signed my banner and my ball already, so I just had him sign a picture that they handed out. So here is the uh, Andrew Whitworth autograph picture, and you can see his signature right there on his white jersey. Really nice guy too, he's uh, one of the veteran leaders on the Bengals. Uh, following Whitworth, uh, the next week we went back to Bengals line. And the guest was Brandon LaFell and George Iloka. And LaFell um, is really making a name for himself on the team. He's had a couple of great catches, a couple of touchdowns for the Bengals. Um, being a nice wide receiver, compliment with AJ Green. And uh, he signed my uh, he signed my banner because he had already signed my football at training camp. And then uh, after him, George Iloka came in and he signed both my football. You can see that right there. And he also signed my banner. Uh, the next day at Beyond the Stripes, the guest was Bengals running back Giovanni Bernard. Uh, great, great player, really dynamic. Um, I think he's one of the best running back duos with Jeremy Hill in the NFL today. Uh, but they need to step up their running game if the Bengals don't have a shot at making the playoffs. But he was the guest at Beyond the Stripes, and uh, he signed my banner, which you can see right there. And then he also signed for me um, another picture that they were handing out. A uh, really good picture. Uh, you can see it. His signature right there by his face. Um, this is GB25. He changed it up from how he signed it last year, but still really cool. Uh, happy to have this. And uh, yeah, so another Giovanni Bernard autograph for the collection. Um, the next week we went, well, we didn't go to a Bengals line following the Gio Giovanni Bernard to be on the Stripes episode because Bengals line was on Halloween. So uh, I just stayed, I didn't go, just stayed home and passed out candy and stuff. And uh, after that, uh, the next day was uh, Beyond the Stripes, where the guest was Paul Gunther, the defensive coordinator. And the reason they had him uh, was because the Bengals were on a bye week. And I think they had like, a couple of coaches the night before on Halloween at Bengals line, but nobody uh, big enough to warrant going down on Halloween. So uh, the next night, as I said, was Paul Gunther, and he signed both my banner, which you can see his signature right there, 
And he also signed um, this picture for me right there. You see his uh, signature on the uh, arm sleeve on the picture. And nice guy, happy to get his autograph. Uh, hopefully he can help the defense step it up because uh, yeah, they've been a big disappointment this year. Um, the following week after that, we went back to Bengals line. Uh, the guest was the returning Wallace Gilberry. He had signed with the Detroit Lions in the offseason, uh, but they cut him after he got hurt, and the Bengals re-signed him, so uh, hopefully he can help strengthen the defensive line, much like he did during his first tenure with the Bengals. And he signed both my football, and he signed my banner. And then the next day, uh, beyond the stripes, the guest was Cincinnati Bengals tight end Tyler Eifert, who uh, unfortunately did not get off to a great start because he was on start of the season injured, uh, had an ankle injury from the Pro Bowl, then he hurt his back the week before he was supposed to come uh, off the injury list. So his return was delayed, but it was more than welcome when he finally got back and uh, he was able to uh, sign my football because I already have him on my banner, so I just asked my football. And then he also signed this picture for me which they were handing out at Beyond the Stripes on Tuesday. And it looks good, nice signature on the cool looking picture. And yeah, that is everything I've gotten uh, for weeks, I think five through the bye week for my Bengals. So the next four weeks, I'll be going to more shows, get more autographs, so stay tuned for Bengalgrass 2016 part three. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button on screen or going down below and clicking the subscribe option under the video screen. Uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter at CincyFanZone. I live tweet during various sporting events and wrestling events, and it's the easiest and fastest way to get updates on my website, which is CincyFanZone. Uh, check it out, click the link on screen to go to CincyFanZone.blogspot.com. I write weekly blog posts for it. Um, every video on my YouTube channel is over there. And I also have photos from all these different Bengal shows I'm going to. Uh, every autograph I have in my collection is up there. And every bobblehead in my collection I have is up there as well. So make sure you give it a look. You will not be disappointed. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.